Hello everyone and welcome to tutorial series of IoT on Raspberry Pi. So in this tutorial series I'll tell you how you can make a simple IoT project based on Raspberry Pi. So what we will do is we'll blink an LED on the Raspberry Pi and then we will try to send the status of the GPIO, the status of the LED to any cloud or IoT hub platform. Now there are many IoT hub platforms available online but the one which I really like is the ThingSports. So we'll discuss about this later in our videos but first let's talk about what are the things you need to get started on the IoT hub project. So let's say you have a Raspberry Pi or any other device. Now you have connected few sensors to it and many other input output devices to that hardware. Now you have installed the setup at some remote location and you want to monitor the status of your hardware setup from your let's say from your office or maybe from your home. How you can do this? In simple, simple ways you cannot do this until and unless you have connected your hardware to the internet. So once your hardware is connected to the internet you can then send messages to some platform or IoT hub. But to send messages or any other data you need to use messaging protocols and the one which we are going to use is Mosquito MQTT protocol. This MQTT protocol works on a publisher and the subscriber. So our hardware becomes the publisher and your IoT hub becomes the subscriber. So your IoT hub has a topic and your device or hardware send all the messages, all the data to that particular topic. So in this way the IoT hub platform receives all the, our messages. Now once our messages are there on the IoT hub we can then use messages or the data to publish it to any website or any other uh, any other way we want our data to be displayed. So as you can see here in the here in the picture this is our Raspberry Pi which is acting as a publisher and this is our IoT hub platform which is a subscriber. This is the topic of the IoT hub and this IoT hub is already subscribed to that particular topic. Now this hardware we will send all the GPIO status to this topic and all the sensor data any other hardware information to this particular topic and the subscriber then will receive all these messages from that particular topic. So the, the messaging protocol which we will be using is the MQTT protocol which will be responsible from sending data to our hardware to this particular topic. So let's go ahead and install the MQTT protocol and the RPI GPI library which we are going to use. So as I am going to use Raspberry Pi, so I will be using PuTTY to connect to my Raspberry Pi. You can use any other SSH terminal you want or you can use VNC to directly log into your Raspberry Pi. So first of all we will install the RPI GPI library because we will be using this library to blink LED in our later videos. So first go ahead and install the RPI.GPIO library. I have already installed this so this will not be installed again. You can install it on, in your Raspberry Pi. This is already installed. Now next thing which you need to install is the messaging protocol. So first of all we need to install we need to install the PAHO MQTT package. This is the Python package which is required for the MQTT protocol. So I have also installed this. Yes. Now the last thing which you need to install is the Mosquito Broker. This is already installed and let's also install Mosquito Clients. Okay. So you need to run these few basic commands in order to completely install all the libraries all the packages which is required for the IoT hub project. So I guess that's all for this video in our next videos we will write a simple python code to blink an LED and then we'll upload the status of that LED to the IoT hub platform. I will also tell you how you can configure the IoT hub platform according to your requirements. So thank you for watching this video please like share and comment if you have any questions regarding this.